Hey Sagittarius, this is your reading for the new moon solar eclipse on the 14th of December. So this is a general reading and it could resonate for Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So let's just jump in and see what this energy is bringing for you Sagittarius for this eclipse. Um, I think that this uh, energy with this eclipse is a lot about karmic cycles. So we will see what that has to do with for you. Spirit, what energy is this eclipse bringing in for Sagittarius? Thank you. Okay, so first out here we have Superb Fairy Wren, and it says infidelity is in the air. So, um, I mean, it could have, the way I flipped it up, it's like if I would have flipped it a different way, it would have been reversed, but I did feel for whatever reason called to pull it out the way that I did, so it is in the upright the way we are reading it now. So Sagittarius you know, kind of a disturbing message there out first, I guess, for you, but this could be something that you have already been sensing or feeling. So then we have next uh, the lovebirds here. It says passionate declarations can lead to love. So very interesting with infidelity and the lovers here. And then we have the painted stork, which was reversed, and it says parenthood and caring for family brings much joy. So this could be to do with your partner, Sagittarius, that you have children with. You don't have to, but it does seem like you have a family together. It's giving me, you know, kind of marriage vibes. You don't have to be married, but I think this is a long-standing relationship. And like I said, probably with children or at least pets involved. And then we also have the green heron, which was also reversed, and it says profit through learning and observing. So there could be something that you aren't uh, fully paying attention to, Sagittarius, or um, I'm, I'm honestly almost getting that this could be an incorrect observation. Like I said, with the fairy wren here, the way it came out, how it would have been in reverse had I just pulled it up that way, but I didn't. So I, I kind of feel that this could be confirming for some Sagittarians that you've been sensing this energy, but I think that your discernment could be a little off in this, but we'll get some more cards just to clarify and make sure. So Spirit, could you clarify this situation for Sagittarius? Thank you. So we have the Page of Wands here, and it says, An amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action and do what you're passionate about. So this also could be, Sagittarius, that you are the one who is considering having a relationship outside of your current commitment. And then one fell on the floor, so let me get that for you. So we have here the... Uh, seven of pentacles I believe so it says seeds well planted efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future the need for patience and a time for resting and planning for the future unnecessary worry so yeah that was the sense that I was getting you know that that this is like an unnecessary worry but it seems very real to you so spirit can you please clarify why Sagittarius feels so strongly about this infidelity Thank you. So we have this uh, 10 of wands here, and this is about working too hard or having a work-life imbalance. So either you or your partner or both of you are concentrating a lot on work. Perhaps this takes a lot of your partner's time, and that might lead you to think like, is this just about work or are they doing something else when they're saying they're at work? And then we have the magician here, which says magic is alive in your life. What you need to be successful will manifest if you believe it, you can do it. So the magician here does seem to me like there could be a little bit of manipulation here, perhaps. Um, let's just get some more clarifiers here. Please clarify the magician. Thank you. So we have, interestingly, the Three of Cups reversed. So, you know, the Three of Cups is classically a card, especially the way it's depicted here with one man and two women, uh, but it was reversed. So I think that this could be about your partner and work, and you are fearful or feeling like your partner is giving too much at work, maybe that they're interested in someone that they work with. Um, but with it being reversed, I don't really get the sense, actually, that this is like uh, romantic or infidelity. I think this is an unnecessary worry that you have, Sagittarius. 
Then we have the King of Pentacles here, and he was upright. So it says compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, and a good person to work for. So this is kind of giving me the vibes. I mean, I think this is your partner or your husband here. Like I said before, I mean, definitely this person is a very hard worker. They spend a lot of time at work, but they also provide financially for the whole family, or they at least have the capability to do so. So, you know, he does spend a lot of time at work, but it pays off. You might not see it paying off yet, even though I kind of think you do. But I mean, there might be like a big surprise bonus at the end of the year for him. And I think that that will be revealed with this uh, solar eclipse that some of these fears that you had about infidelity were actually maybe about some kind of project that he's working on that he might not have been very verbal about because it's obviously taking up a lot of his mind space here. So then we have the uh, four of cups here and it says failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distractions of daily life discontentment or boredom and lost in your own world wake up so I think that you do feel that your partner is bored in your relationship and that could be true in some ways however I don't think it's leading to infidelity I mean I just think this person really focuses a lot on work they might be missing the point in not realizing like how they've been treating you or if they've been ignoring you or something you may have tried to talk to this person about that um and and yeah I mean he's in his own world he's in his own world of work and sometimes work can seem very much like a relationship especially if you're an energetically sensitive person you know work can sometimes depending on the person and how they feel about it can really give you a sense of infidelity or like them being in another romantic relationship so, Spirit, is there anything else you'd like to tell Sagittarius about this energy? What do they need to know about this, about this infidelity, please? What else do they need to know? Thank you. So we have awareness in the reverse. So yeah, again, this is really, really speaking to me, Sagittarius, that this is not your partner being, um, being uh, in infidelity with you. Like, I don't think they're cheating on you, Sagittarius. I think that your awareness or your discernment at this time is somewhat reversed. And then we have here, uh, waiting also in reverse. So you could be waiting like for the other shoe to drop for this person to tell you what's been going on. And then we have dreaming also in the reverse. So yeah, this is like very in your head. It's very intuitive, but they're all reversed here. So there's something, you know, that needs to be reveal revealed with this uh, solar eclipse Sagittarius about your internal feelings and your compass. And then yeah, here at the bottom of the deck, we have love reversed. So there might be something that's being revealed during this this solar eclipse and this new moon about your partner's feelings in the relationship. Like, are they kind of bored? Maybe. Maybe they need to open up and talk to you about some of this stuff so that these kind of sensations aren't coming in, that they're being unfaithful. You know, because I can see that that energy feels very real to you, but I don't think it's real. So there could be something that your partner isn't telling you. I don't think, though, that they're going to tell you that they're cheating on you. Like, has one of you or both of you thought about going outside the relationship? It's possible. Possible. But really, I think that you have a long-standing commitment here or marriage, and I don't get the sense that this person is just going to throw that away, especially because he's the king of pentacles. Like, there would be a lot for him to lose, I think, if you got divorced or had some kind of separation. Plus, it seems like you might have children or at least some shared assets together. So in the end of this reading spirit, is there anything else you would like to say to Sagittarius about this solar eclipse? Let's just make sure that's all they want to say. Thank you. So we have the pelican here, which says, choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration. So Sagittarius, if there has been some kind of um, misstep or something that needs forgiveness in your relationship, now would be a good time to do that. You know, it can be hard, even if the person comes to you and says, look, I'm not cheating on you, but I have been 
somewhat unhappy or having some thoughts or whatever, you know, if they come to you and talk to you about that, I see that this is a time for you to forgive because I don't think it's quite as bad as you had thought it was. Like, could this person truly be cheating? You know, I mean, maybe, and maybe they have told you. So maybe that's with all these reversals and stuff. This could be somebody that's in a relationship with somebody who has cheated in the past. And now forever moving forward, you're kind of just like always thinking about that. Every time the person is busy or they're working or you're just not in their presence, you might be fearful that this is happening again. So if that's the case here, it seems like that's really holding you back as an individual. And so it might be time to consider ending this karmic cycle and and just forgiving the person, not ending the relationship, but forgiving what they've done. And then we had the white turkey, which was in reverse, and it says the power to heal is within you. So you might not be fully recognizing your ability to heal the situation or heal yourself, Sagittarius. And then we have the woodpecker here, which says use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. So yeah, again, discernment is coming out here. And then we have the starling, which was in reverse, and it says now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. So it could be Sagittarius that at this time you are feeling just really holed up in the house like a lot of people are. And, you know, some people are really closer in proximity in their relationship than they ever have been before. And that can be making you feel kind of weird, like, you know, you don't have your usual stuff that you can go and do and just be your own individual self. Self, and you may be lacking in some other connections in your life, like friends or family, just because you can't see them. So there could be something you could do at this time, or it could be that moving forward, you know, mid uh, December into the new year, you can be looking for some ways to get out there and connect with some other people. Um, this also could be that it was in reverse, you know, it could just be another indication that this person isn't doing that again or doing that right now, that they, um, you know, I think they're just connecting at work. And then finally, also in the reverse here, we have the goose, which says your dreams and desires are calling you to action. The journey begins today. So Sagittarius, maybe a little more attention to your dreams, like your dreams keep coming up reverse. So also with the magician here, I'm just going to throw this in at the end. You know, this could be kind of like some dream pollution that's going on or something. If there's something in your dreams that's really causing you to think that this person's cheating, but nothing else is, like that's not exactly a good or a state stable um, conclusion to come to just based on a dream. Even if you are a person who has prophetic dreams and stuff, if there's nothing else indicating that, just with the magician coming out in the upright, I would just take a closer look at that and you can ask, you know, your guardian angels or your spirit guides or ancestors or whoever you work with, you can just ask them to come in and help you with that energy and help to explain to you why you might be having dreams or, you know, kind of like visions or indications or something, but not really seeing the real world proof of what's going on. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, for this new moon eclipse that's coming in for you. If you like this video, if you could please give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, you can do so to see more videos like this. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.